The moment of truth is here. Is this the award-winning veggie burger of all time? I gotta get my workout in, you guys. I've been really slacking off. Honestly, I didn't think this was gonna last more than two months. And from what it looks like, gyms might not open until August, and I cannot go until August without working out. I've had a real hard time working out inside the house. I guess it's lack of motivation. It's a little bit difficult too, because my boyfriend works at night, and so he sleeps during the day. So I can't really be jumping around in the morning in the living room while he's trying to sleep. This house is really small. So I just have to change my way of going at it and no excuses. So I'm gonna do my quick workout. If you guys haven't seen my first home workout video and you wanna follow along, definitely click through to that video. Get your workout in with me and then we're gonna finish the soy milk making of the tofu recipe. And I have the vegan veggie burger coming at you. But first, Let's get our sweat on. We spend more time trying to talk ourselves out of why we shouldn't do something than the actual time it takes to do it. So I've really been pushing myself every day. It's been really hard for me to motivate with the home workout. Um, mostly, well, I have excuses. Mostly the weather's been crap. It's been really cold and rainy. So for me to do any kind of workout outside, it just hasn't been happening. So um, it's just been, you know, like a lot of me saying to myself, ah, it's only gonna be a couple months bulk up a little bit. After I ate my whole birthday cake though, I was like, okay, enough is enough. I really have to get serious because I don't think the gyms are going to be opening anytime soon. So I really have been refocusing in and I've been doing really great all week. And so I really had to just get my workout done. Um, but now I'm a total sweaty mess. I really should take a shower. It's already almost six o'clock at night. And um, it took me hours to show you guys just how to make soy milk, right? Well, we know that I can't finish the tofu today because I don't have the nut bag and I don't have my coagulant to actually finish the tofu recipe. So we'll pick that one up in a couple of days. But as promised, I have the veggie burger that was actually, I mean, the Swiss roll and the veggie burger were neck and neck in my poll that I put out a couple weeks ago. Like literally exactly the same amount of votes for both of them. So, um, but we're gonna do the veggie burger um, first because I have all the ingredients for that. This is my notebook that I started when I first transitioned to vegan almost five years ago. And I started collecting up recipes off the internet for vegan recipes because I'm um, printing them out and putting them into my notebook, which is always a great idea to do when you find a recipe that you love so that you can hold on for it forever because you just never know when the internet's gonna go down or somebody might shut down their blog. So this veggie burger, this is a black bean. Let me find it first of all. So this is called the award-winning veggie burger. And you know, when I printed it out, I didn't actually print the website where I got it from, so I can't remember where this came from. However, I do remember it being amazing, and I haven't made it in several years because I got lazy and I started buying all of the amazing pre-made ones that you can buy. Um, but I do remember it being so delicious, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have put it in my notebook, right? Um, but we'll see, because this was close to five years ago, and we've come such a long way with vegan recipes that we'll see if this burger still holds up to its award-winning title. All right, so I changed my clothes, but I didn't take a shower. Is that gross? I don't care. 
I put perfume on. All right, let's do this veggie burger. I've already got my ingredients prepped and let's show them to you. Can I get in here? All right, so the recipe calls for shiitake mushrooms, but I didn't have them, so I used Baby Bella's. Uh, called for red quinoa already cooked, but I didn't have that, so I'm <laughs> using white. Uh, Old-fashioned oats. I've got all my spices and seasonings in here. Uh, some panko breadcrumbs, but I didn't have any of those either, so I had super over-toasted a roll for my boyfriend's lunch the other day and I couldn't use it so but I couldn't throw it out I'm like I can't do waste so I threw it in the freezer and it's perfect so I crushed up that over toasted roll and voila I have myself some homemade breadcrumbs I've got some egg replacer salt and pepper and it calls for canned black beans but I remembered that I had some already cooked black beans that I soaked and cooked from dried beans from my chili that I made a couple weeks ago, so I just pulled these out of the freezer too. So I'm just gonna use those. Now the recipe says to put two and a half tablespoons of oil into your pan and then cook down your garlic, garlic, onion, and mushrooms. But I don't wanna use oil, and, and I'm not going to, because I know that these vegetables will cook down perfectly fine without the help of oil. All right, so. What does it say? For the burger, heat in a saute pan over medium heat. Oh, heat the oil. I'm not using the oil. So onion, garlic, then add the mushroom. Well, I just put everything in all at once. Uh, and then add the spices, which is chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. And that's everything that I have in here. So first I'm going to cook it down, maybe about eight minutes or so, and let it all get nice and cooked down. Then I'm going to add the spice. And then what? Transfer it. Transfer it to a food processor. Add the beans, the quinoa, the oats, and the half a cup of my homemade breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, this recipe didn't call for egg, egg replacer. Well, it does later on and I'll show you why and what I think um, they were using because it only said egg replacer. Don't you hate that? I always specify and I always do use the plant-based egg by Freely Vegan because I think it's the best. Um, so anyway, the egg replacer that it called for in this recipe was actually for, and I think they were using energy egg replacer because honestly, this is from before five years ago they didn't have all the egg replacers that are on the market today. So I'm pretty confident they were using um, energy egg replacer. And the way that it was being used in the recipe, you reconstitute it in water and then dip your burgers in it and then into more panko and then fry them up. So I'm pretty sure they were using energy. However, I'm adding a couple, one tablespoon of the plant-based egg into my actual burger mix to kind of help it bind. So that's one little tweak that I'm making to this recipe. But um, yeah, pretty simple. They do have to chill after we do all of that mixing together and then we'll form the patties and cook them off when it's ready. So real quick, let's get to the making of this burger. So, you know, I'm thinking about maybe a different way to do this because, you know, I do consider everyone and there are a few people, well, maybe one person, I don't know who else feels that way and they're just not speaking up about it, that if I'm sharing a recipe, I should just share the recipe. So for my birthday cake, my German chocolate cake, it was sort of like this cake embedded into a 25 minute long vlog style video, which some people do hate and I get that. So it's like if I'm sharing a recipe, just share the recipe. Because honestly, you guys, doing these vlog style videos, it is hours and hours of footage that then gets crunched down into like maybe 10 or 20 minutes of actual usable material. Because I mean, what did I do? I made soy milk already, and I'm doing a veggie burger all within this random blah, 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 me talking kind of a vlog. I mean, I did a workout in between all of that too, you know what I mean? So either I'll clip in the recipe in the beginning of the making of like whatever I'm doing, or I'll just keep doing short versions. Um, I'll probably just do the short versions. I don't know, we'll see how it goes once I sit down and start to edit all of this. 
but comment below. I mean, I know a lot of you guys said you really do like the vlog style, which so do I. I mean, honestly, at this point, what am I really doing? I'm not, I don't really think anybody's coming to me to learn how to make soy milk, first of all. I'm just kind of playing around and taking you guys along with me. But as far as this veggie burger, if this comes out good, I'm definitely going to make a separate blog post for it to share the recipe. All right, so next we're going to add in the spices. Get them all nice and toasted up into that concoction. Now I'm going to add the quinoa. And wait a minute, I'm not paying attention. Whoops, I did it wrong already. I wasn't supposed to add the quinoa, but that's okay. Because you know what I was thinking too? Like the quinoa is cooked, so it's kind of like, oh, that chili powder. Oh my God. Woo. Um, the quinoa is cooked already. <clears throat> so the one thing I hate about veggie burgers is when they just have this nasty, mushy, disgusting, falling apart texture. Like that to me is the worst experience of eating a veggie burger ever. So with the quinoa going in there already cooked and already like moist, um, I don't know, I question that. But again, I made this like five years ago and I loved it. So let's just see how my tastes and my judgments on vegan food has changed since five years ago. But anyway, putting it in here, I think that was a good idea because I can cook off now some more of that moisture from the quinoa. I, wanna try, I don't want like this thing to be sopping and mushy and gross. like about a can. I'm going to just use that. Let's put that in there too. I save all my plastic bags and I reuse them and reuse them until they're literally like falling apart. Cast iron is not for the weak wristed. Believe me, this thing is friggin' heavy. In goes the egg replacer, the panko breadcrumbs, the salt and pepper, and the oats. You know the great thing about making vegan food is that you can taste everything raw. Oh, I'm so short. A little bit more chili powder. This is actually not chili powder. This is taco seasoning mix from one of my very great friends. I'll link you to her blog. Transfer it to a bowl and it says to refrigerate one hour, at least an hour or overnight. I'm only gonna do it for an hour because I'm so hungry. It's already 6.30 at night and all I ate today so far was my oatmeal. All right, my burger's ready. This is my energy egg replacer mixed with water. They're gonna dip the burgers in that and then dip them into the breadcrumbs. My burger buns are quite small too, so I'm gonna have to make these patties smaller than I would want them to be. Otherwise, they're just gonna be this massive patty hanging out of this little tiny bun. Hmm. It's a pretty good stiff mixture. It feels good, it's not real mushy. I think these are gonna be good. I know they're good, otherwise I wouldn't have put them in my notebook. But let's just see how they stand up after five years of vegan amazingness that's hit the market. I think the Energy Egg Replacer dip is pretty interesting and kind of a good idea because it's not the Energy Egg Replacer is nothing but starches, so that's gonna give it a little bit of a crust, I think into the breadcrumb mixture. So this is not exactly the picture that I posted on YouTube. Everybody's like, oh my God, that burger looks amazing. It totally did. I just ripped that off of Google. I believe that was Jamie Oliver's um, take on vegan veggie burger. So um, I don't have all those toppings. I think he had like cilantro. It looked like he had mangoes on his. It was like piled with all this stuff. I'm going sort of like spicy California style. I've got lettuce, tomato, red onion. I made a concoction of mayo, sriracha, and ketchup. I've got a slice of cheddar cheese. Ooh. 
All right, this might be good. I'm even going to do a slice of pickle, which I'm not so sure about until I taste it. It might be gross and I might just pull it right off. This better be good. I love the crust. That energy egg replacer with this breadcrumbs was a really good idea. I'm feeling like I have to jazz this up a little bit. I hope I'm not going to ruin it. A little bit of vegan Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of liquid smoke and some barbecue sauce. So I want to brush the outside of this with this concoction. I think this should taste good. Mm, it's good. Because if I'm going to take a picture of this, this thing has to be like glistening like it looked in the picture that I shared. It can't just be like this dried up patty that's coated with breadcrumbs, right? See how much better that looks already? This is food photography 101 right here. All right, I think it's done. I'm gonna cover this side though. I want this cheese to melt on there. Mmm, that really made a difference. Look how juicy it looks now, right? I have to put on my special sauce. Not sure about this pickle. We'll see how it goes. Tomato, onions, lechuga, bun. Oh, yeah, that looks good. All right, I gotta stop here so I can take pictures for the stupid blog. All right, I think I got a couple of good shots at least. How am I gonna eat this? It's gigantic. Look at it, it's just dripping with goodness. All right, the moment of truth is here. Is this the award-winning veggie burger of all time? Mmm, it's good. It's messy. You know, I loaded it up with all these toppings though, which makes it so delicious. But let me just do the veggie burger alone. It's good. It's not mushy. It has integrity. I love the crunch, the outside coating of the um, panko and my additional little brushing on to make it more moist. Perfect. That little bit of barbecue with my sriracha mayo ketchup spread. I do love the pickle. It's so good. It's award winning. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Mmm. I'm so glad I made this. Oh, it's so messy. I'm going to eat this whole thing. I wasn't planning on eating the bun, but I'm eating the bun. That's messy. I love this sriracha mayo. It's so good. So I was like, how am I going to share this recipe? It's not my recipe. So I can't really just like claim this as my own, even though I did make quite a few changes to it from the original. Um, I don't feel good about doing that. So I'm actually gonna have to see if I can hunt down the original um, blog post for this recipe and give credit where credit is due. So either way it goes, links will be below. Um, although I did change it quite a lot. Hmm, I'm on the fence about this one. Is this my award-winning veggie burger, or is it theirs? It's pretty good, guys. I think we've got a winner. Actually, I'm gonna take off some of this bun. I don't need all that bun. I'm not a big bun person. This is delicious! All right, you guys, we don't need to sit here and watch me shovel the rest of this burger down my throat. That's all I got for you today, anyway. So, as always, 
Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again on the next one. Never question the pickle.